Hello everybody, welcome to Art to Heart and today is a really special day because I am here with a master artist who I admired a lot. Uh, she's from Germany, her name is Katrin Alvarez and her works are exhibited here on the digital exhibition at the Art International booth of the Red Dot Art Fair. Katrin, how are you doing? I'm doing <laughs> fine and I'm proud to be here again. I've walked to look at the other um, artists and I've it's again the same um, impression I had already 2011 when I was here the first time. The level, the quality level is very high and very interesting. A lot of interesting impulses I take home. It's really, really interesting. People go here, all of them. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the works that you are exhibiting. Um, they are from the last two years where um, I've done a lot of work on myself. Um, to explain that, um, my life has not been always very easy and um, there are a lot of uh, emotions like hate, like um, bad emotions, destructive emotions. And I um, met somebody who taught me the power of breathing, the power of yoga, the power of meditation. And with that uh, tools, I was able to change myself a lot. And of course, my paintings change, which is a big, big, big challenge for me because the, 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 the old impulses are still alive. And they, sometimes when I start a painting, they, they, no, you do this, you do this. And my peaceful ego says, no, I won't. And then it might happen, which happened with my last painting I'm working on. The painting closes the door locks it and says, do what you want, but I will not allow you to go on working. So I have to wait. But it was a beautiful year because I became much stronger, more peaceful, and I enjoy life. Because hate is not a good companion. Hate is like a boomerang. Hate uh, comes back to you, destroys you, and not the person you hate. I had to learn that. Your words are really powerful. I think they are... Either way, they're really peaceful works. They're works that connect with a lot of people that have gone through a lot of different situations, including myself. And uh, is this a challenge now for you? What, are, what you're drawing inspiration, I would say, from a different source. So is this a challenge? How do you think this is going to impact your work? It does. It really does. It's not a, a river. Always the other old uh, emotions bump up and destroy me. It will take some more time because I think if you start meditating, meditating, um, you will not make it in one year. It's a longer process, so I have to go on. And the same with my painting. I know exactly um, the impression I want to have on my paintings one day, but I have to go on trying, trying, trying. It's a process which is going on and I enjoy it so much. Because in my um, further life, I always felt as a victim of whatever and that feeling is gone i'm no victim anymore that's a very good feeling that's a really good place to be yeah i think there's a spiritual awakening among the artists because i have heard the same words from a few artists do you feel the same great great yeah. um the thing is when i read the newspapers or hear the 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 news i oh, i very often have the feeling to be able to show up what happens in the world and eventually what we could do, you know. I feel so helpless about what happens all around the world, this cruelty, this fighting, this religion horror. And I would love to come to that point to express these things in my painting, to go away just painting about myself and what's inside of me, to be a sort of, I said it uh, once, to become that journalist, which I'm with words, to become it with my paintings too. I mean, to paint about what happens inside of myself when I read the newspapers. I think uh, artists should do that. I think they have, a, they have to do it. It's not enough just to paint about myself and my light and dark points of my personality. I, I think I have to do more and I'm willing, I'm willing. You're doing already. You're doing a lot for a lot of people, like I said. I'm starting. I'm starting. I think every, every artist is painting a lot about the things which are inside of himself. Yeah. But for me, 
it has been enough all the past, but it's not enough anymore. I want more, 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 more. And we're going to look forward to seeing those yeah. new works. <laughs> so what's uh, in your plans for next year? I will have a solo exhibition in uh, Germany. I will take part in several art fairs. I love art fairs because the impulses are so great. I mean, if you have a solo exhibition, it's nice for your ego, running around and seeing all your paintings hanging. But being on a fair, is, I love it. I'm a fair junkie, okay. if that's possible. Okay. So thank you so much for your time. And I want to share uh, Katrin's website so that everybody goes and log in and visit her website. What's your website? Thank, uh, um, BBB, www, I'm sorry, punto katrin-alvarez.de. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Viviana. Thank you, everybody who's watching. And don't forget to log in to the artist's uh, website, okay? Ciao. If you're an artist and would like to participate in our Art to Heart interviews, feel free to contact me at info at arttointernational.com and share your story of inspiration. The wonderful world of the arts awaits for you here at Art to Heart. See you soon.